Hey y'all. I just wanted to do this quick video because I'm a bit stumped. I got these from Target on my way home from work today. Okay. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about in a minute because I just bit a piece of it. And it is a good grape. I'm picky about grapes. But this is what it says. You guys see? What does that say? Red seedless grapes. And mind you, I didn't even realize it said seedless because I feel like if it's a grape, a fruit, it needs to have seeds. And it does. Those are seeds. This says seedless grapes. I didn't even know it said seedless grapes. Those are definitely seeds. It's like a whole seed pot. Those are seeds. I'm not gonna trust them. I'm not, mm, it's a good grape. Cause the grapes be, nowadays we taste them hard. Like, you can't fuck them. I like this one particular grape. They're called jam grapes. Um, they're from Brazil. But you get them here sometimes. Oh, let me show you off. I ain't lying. Here's the grapes all here in the bag, y'all. They're all firm and nice. I'm gonna go rinse this one off. I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna go too crazy with it. Okay, this is the grape, y'all. I'm gonna bite it. Normal grape, I washed it. Well, you know, firm. Let me bite. This one tastes really good. These grapes are really good. No seed there. Mmm, these grapes are really good. Mm, seeds. Some seeds in here. Look at that. These are really good grapes. And I'm picky. I haven't had no grapes this good in a while. I was skeptical. Skeptical about when I brought them. I'm going to actually keep the grape, the seeds, and I'm going to plant a couple of grapes. I'm going to look up in my book. I got a couple of books about how to grow fruits. So even though I'm up here in the Northeast, I know I need sunlight. I wish I lived in the warmer climate so I can grow me some goddamn grapes. Grapes are good now. What is it called? Mmm. That's a product of Peru. Sweetums. Grapes and raisins. It got a QR code on there, y'all. I'm going to scan it and see what it tells me. But yeah. See, it's a product of Peru. These are really good. Anyway, they do say seedless, but they have seeds. So, I don't know what's going on with the foods. In the market today, it's just so crazy to me that I I don't even know why I picked up. God is always with me. I'm telling y'all, God loves me and I love you too. The spirit, because I wanted some grapes, and I was like, well, I don't know. I hope they might. I hope these, these grapes might taste hard and rubbery, but they taste amazing. And I would say this probably some of the best grapes I've had in a long time. But it's so crazy how. When I read the back, when I got home, I was like, damn, seedless. I was prepared to just hope, just hope that they tasted good regardless. But then I hope it was a pleasant surprise because there were seeds in there. I'm telling you, things are real funny going around here in the world. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy these grapes. I hope you all have a great evening. I got to go get ready, uh, wash my ass, and decide what I'm going to be doing uh, after work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll be taking these calls at work. These 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 calls be y'all wouldn't believe the type of calls that I get. But I love to help the people. I love to help the people. But the calls, oh my god! I know what I know. I'm about to end this video, but my first call this morning, he was so mad, and I'm really I'm a, I consider myself to be really nice. But after I repeat myself 15 times, the average person that works there is not even repeating themselves 15 times. So don't give me no bullshit. I've been on the phone with you for 20 minutes explaining to you the process of how things go for you to do things over here at the RMV in Massachusetts. And you're not understanding. You're not listening. You're not accepting what it is. I'm taking my time and repeating it to you, explaining to you 10 different times, at 10 different ways at this point to get you to comprehend 
do you have a title in your name? You're telling me that you got this vehicle, you want to give it to your brother. My first question is, do you have a title on the front listing you as the owner to sign off to your brother in the back? You want to give me all these ribbon rights? Yes, sir. No, sir. Okay. I... Then you start telling me, oh, I, where's the vehicle? Well, the vehicle? How come you don't have to? I, where did the the vehicle came from an auction? My brother got it from an auction. Okay. I still, you need the title. Who has, do either of you have your names on the back of the title giving you permission to take over ownership of the vehicle? Is my question. I don't want to hear none of this other. By the time the 20 minutes was done after I was explaining to him or trying to get him to understand what is needed to, for him or the brother to get ownership, a title in their name in Massachusetts, oh, he said, F you. I was being condescending and rude. Uh, sir, we're 20 minutes into this call and my answer is not changing. No matter how you try to twist, flip it, spit it. Do you have a title? Do you own the title? Do you own the vehicle? Is your name on the front of a title giving you permission to give a bit? Get off my fucking phone. At this time, sir, do you have anything? Oh, when I get like that, I don't care. Be nice to me when you call. If you ever call the customer service center, at the RMV here in Massachusetts and you get me, Dewan, you know I'm going to be extremely nice and go above and beyond my way to make sure I try to help you to the best of my capacity. And if I can, I'm going to get someone else who can or I will consult with someone to help you. And sometimes you might just be asked out. But I'm going to give it to you straight. Remember that, if y'all ever call. It's not the DMV. I know it's a DMV in every other state, but in Massachusetts, it is the RMV. Okay. And I don't play when it comes to doing my job. And if you want, you want to get, I be trying to help the people. I be trying to help the people. Y'all already know how many people I get. Oh, I got this car. I want to register it. Um, I don't have a title. Mm -mm. I paid. I, what, what can I do? I'm calling you for help. Did you call us for help before you bought the vehicle? Who the fuck buys a vehicle without having a title? Unless you know for sure that the car is so old, and we're talking about antiques at this time, something 1980 and older from ass, that doesn't have a title. But we still need to know where the fuck you got this vehicle from. Like, that's a whole nother video. Life of an RMV rocker. I've seen enough of them online and shit. And I be seeing all the talk about how, oh, it's so rude. I'm a really nice person. I get a lot of people that be like, oh my God, we can't believe I'm talking to the someone here. You're the nicest. You are so, they are so, they are so nice. Those are the people I appreciate. On the flip side, let me bring it up before I end this video on a positive note. I speak with so many people who, they're just the sweetest people and they make my day. I had this one lady, as a follow-up, tell me, today after Mr. Rude guy couldn't accept the fact you made my day and she kept she you, I had this one other lady she kept thanking me like she thanked me like 50 times in the call like that's that's the reason why I do this job now do I want to stay taking these calls from these people have like eight skills, maybe nine now, I don't know, something like that. Well, I deal with different things, citations, licensing. I don't deal with suspensions, that's a whole other beast. Um, registrations, title calls, you know, things like that. Like, I deal with things like that. And my job is to help you understand what you would need to get things done here or someone else who may be trying to help. Um, I also take interpreter calls, so, you know, um, that's the nature of my job, and my calls are nonstop all day. It's a very busy center. We take the calls for all of the registry of motor vehicles in the state of Mass, going out to Rhode Island, um, what was I talking about? Like, um, Martha's Vineyard, you know, we go, not Rhode Island, Martha's Vineyard, we take all the calls, so it's like, we take a lot of calls, and... 
it's something else when you work for the state. When you get in, you learn how things go. And if you really care about the people, you you get in, you learn how things are going, and you give them information that will help them. So that's what I do. And not everyone is like that. People want to get paid, but not everybody wants to go above and beyond to make sure you're treating others how you would want to be treated if you were calling. You know, people go out of their way. Sometimes they uh, have to wait. And if you're waiting, when I give them this phone, when you do answer me, I need accurate information. So that's what I try to get. But, um, and I appreciate all the people who appreciate me, especially the wonderful people at my job that I work with. They are amazing. They're amazing people. I'm so lucky to work around the people that I work around for the most of them because, you know, you always got the haters on the side. You always got a hater. You always got a hater. Even when you're not a hater yourself, you got somebody that hates you because you're not a hater. It's always like that. But don't ever let that stop you from shining. You keep doing you. And that's all you do. With that being said, I'm going to go wash this grape because I want to take this grape down. These grapes are amazing. My seed, seeded grapes. Because they damn sure ain't seedless. They bomb. <laughs> now, y'all, thank y'all for listening to me. And um, I, I, I think I made, I've been making some videos and have not been posting them. I did an Aquarius video. I'm going to post it. It was my part two. So, y'all, like and subscribe. Peace.